All right, we are back with New Generation Radio on AM 1460 KDWA. I'm your DJ Reggie Bauer, and along with me in the studio, we have our guest DJs Tanner Bainey. Mm-hmm. And it is time now for the Weekly Dose of Fail, where we bring you a few odd news stories or people just being plain stupid. <laughs> that never happened. Is it you, possibly? <laughs> yeah, that was me. Question mark? No, that was Mike, totally. That was uh, me. So. That was absolutely Mike. Alrighty. Um, all right, our first story. Ah, static electricity. Our first story <laughs> comes to us from, it looks like some European country. It, does, it doesn't say. It. It's it, This guy paid pounds, so I'm assuming some <laughs> sort of British. Or, oh, Iran. Okay, it's Iran. It's Iran. <laughs> not good enough. It, it's Iran. Okay, so in the long list of criminal do's and don'ts, one of the top pieces of advice would be to never rob a bank thinking that you're invisible when you're not actually invisible. Sadly for one man in Iran, he made just that mistake, and as a result, the police are hunting a fake sorcerer who convinced the man he was invisible so he could rob banks safely. What? <laughs> what? That's awesome. No, I've actually uh, been looking at like videos lately because I'm a nerd, and there's like no this, way. I saw. Well, yeah. Well, anyway, <laughs> there's this video of this guy. It was like some. I think it was like Iran news or something like that. It was like it was it was Arabian or something like that. But there was this guy. Who was running around and it was like um, it looked like an invisibility suit because he couldn't be he actually wasn't able you couldn't see him until he got up on this tank oh <laughs> i've seen that and then, too. Yeah, yeah it's so cool it's amazing cool but so nerdy but i like it so awesome. that is actually a very interesting impression of neil goldman i'm just doing a list no big deal <laughs> you're okay. feeling nothing to it man yes, okay nothing to it, anyway no mo- moving on moving on our next one comes to us from germany a German Deutschland. Man. Deutschland. Deutschland. <laughs> Alright, a German man has been banned from tattooing a 15 centimeter Rolling Stones tongue logo onto his pony. He had, <laughs> he had planned to use it as an advertisement for a pet tattoo business. I didn't even know those existed. <laughs> I would totally, like, if I ever got a horse, I'd, like, get some racing stripes and stuff on it. <laughs> pimp stripe like, pimp. Yeah, my <laughs> horse is pimp. Pimp my horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's a friend. Isn't that a funny W? Pimp my yeah. horse. <laughs> so dumb. The man had already registered his new animal tattoos firm, shaved a large area of his pony, and tattooed the outline of the stone's famous design on the animal's skin when the court stopped any further ink work. The Administrative Appeals trip on Friday upheld a ban imposed on the grounds that tattooing animals for fashion purposes violated animal cruelty laws. What? Well, how yeah, we do so it to dumb. ourselves? Yeah, we do it to ourselves. Yeah, we it, do it to animals. And that's that's what I was thinking. In that sense, then maybe it violates human rights every time somebody gets a tattoo. Well, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. I well, I know. guess it's against the I mean, animal's will. If it's fine, if it's fine, the to animal do doesn't you, have a will. No. If, it's, <laughs> if it's fine to do to you, I think it should be fine to do to the animal. Yeah, I don't know. It's all the animal rights that activists deep, and stuff. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I mean, I could go further in depth of that, but we don't have time. I don't think so. We have time. We just get kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> we could be here all day. <laughs> Except uh, Reggie would probably kill us, but no. No. <laughs> no. All right. Um. Uh, finally, this last one comes to us from over in Portland, Oregon, I believe. Oh, I got someone that lives over there. I got a cousin that lives over there. Okay. Okay. Good. Yay. Good. Good for you. Um. A, <laughs> a man who decided he was too drunk to drive early this past Friday okay. morning. Good choice. Chose instead to crawl into a recycling Never dumpster mind. At, a <laughs> at a southeast Portland bar, only to be picked up by a hauler and compacted twice. Did he die? No. Oh. <laughs> That's a... I don't even know, like, I always, like, was so scared of those things. I'm like, if I ever jumped in one of those, I'd be so dead. <laughs> you would never see the light of day again. Apparently, I guess, I'm going to jump in the next one I see because I can survive it. <laughs> it's cheaper than paying rent in a <laughs> cheap apartment. <laughs> cheaper than a taxi. Apparently, the man had been drinking at Club 205 when he chose the container to spend the night instead of a drunken drive home. The club's regular trash hauler showed up sometime after 1 a.m., my question is, who is on duty with that job at 1 in the morning? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, uh, the truck emptied the wow. recycling container and continued on its route, twice compacting the load. <laughs> when the truck reached Mall 205, the waste management worker discovered the man was in the trunk. He'd suffered. Hey <laughs> he Can you get me out of here? <laughs> <laughs> He'd suffered minor injuries and was taken, taken to the hospital by ambulance at 2.45 in the morning. 
Waste management spokeswoman Jackie Lang said the driver did everything he could to help the man, including initial treatment. The driver had to convince the man not to walk away as he wished, but to stay and get proper medical attention. They said the driver was shaken up by the incident. <laughs> what, what, like where the injuries were, just like some cuts and bruises? No yeah, n- yeah, just that. Nice. Are, Probably... I got, contra- I got I got compacted by a trash compactor in a okay. garbage truck twice, and I'm still alive. I'm cool. I can see why. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry, well, that's just yeah. an interesting story to tell, just saying. Okay. Um, Moving on.